Excuse me, sirs. May I sit down? There's no room. No room indeed. No room. There's plenty of room. Have some wine. I don't see any wine. There isn't any. Then it wasn't very civil of you to offer it. It wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited. I didn't know it was your table. It's laid for a great many more than three. Your hair wants cutting. You should learn not to make personal remarks. It's very rude. Why is a raven like a writing desk? I, I, I believe I can guess that. Do you mean that you think you know the answer to it? Exactly so. Then you should say what you mean. I do. At least I mean what I say. That's the same thing, you know. Not the same thing a bit. You might as well say that I see what I eat is the same thing as I eat what I see. You might as well say that I like what I get is the same thing as I get what I like. You might just as well say that I breathe when I sleep. Is the same as I sleep when I breathe. It is the same thing with you. What day of the month is it? The fourth. Two days wrong. I told you butter wouldn't suit the works. It was the best butter. Yes, but some crumbs must have got in as well. You shouldn't have put it in with a bread knife. It was the best butter, you know. What a funny watch. It tells the day of the month and doesn't tell what o'clock it is. Why should it? Does your watch tell you what year it is? Of course not. Well, that's because it stays the same year for such a long time together. Which is just the case with mine. I don't quite understand you. The Dormouse is asleep again. Of course, of course. Just what I was going to remark myself. Have you guessed the riddle yet? No, I give up. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea. Nor I. I think you might do something better with the time than waste it in asking riddles that have no answers. If you knew time as well as I do, you wouldn't talk of wasting it. It's him. I don't know what you mean. Of course you don't. I dare say you never even spoke to time. Perhaps not. But I know I have to beat the time when I learn music. Ah, that accounts for it. He won't stand beating. Now if you only kept on good terms with him, he'd do almost anything you liked with the clock. For example, suppose it were nine o'clock in the morning. Just time to begin lessons. You'd only have to whisper a hint to time. And drown goes the clock in a twinkling. Half past one, time for dinner. I only wish it was. That would be grand, certainly, but then... I shouldn't be hungry for it, you know. Not at first, perhaps, but you could keep it to half past one as long as you liked. Is that the way you manage? No, Ty. We quarrelled last March, just before he went mad, you know. It was at the great concert given by the Queen of Hearts, and I had to sing, Twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder what you're at. You know the song, perhaps? I've heard something like it. It goes on, you know, in this way. Up. Above the world you fly, like a tea tree in the sky. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. Well, I barely finished the first verse. When the queen jumps up and bawled out, He's murdering the time! Off! Oh!
with his head. How dreadfully savage. And ever since that, he won't do a thing I ask. It's always six o'clock now. Is that the reason so many tea things are put out here? Yes, that's it. It's always tea time, and we have no time to wash the things between whiles. Then you keep moving round, I suppose. Exactly. As the things get used up. But what happens when you come to the beginning again? Suppose we change the subject. I'm getting tired of this. I vote the young lady tells us a story. I'm afraid I don't know one. Then the Dormouse shall. Wake up, Dormouse. Wake up. Wake up. I wasn't asleep. I heard every word you fellows were saying. Tell us a story. Yes, please do. And be quick about it, or you'll be asleep again before it's done. Ahem. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there were three little sisters, and their names were Elsie, Lacey, and Dilly. And they lived at the bottom of a well. What did they live on? They lived on treacle. They couldn't have done that, you know. They'd have been ill. So they were. Very ill. But why did they live at the bottom of a well? Take some more tea. I've had nothing yet, so I can't take more. You mean you can't take less? It's very easy to take more than nothing. Nobody asked your opinion. Who's making personal remarks now? Why did they live at the bottom of a well? It was a treacle well. There's no such thing. If you can't be civil, you'd better finish the story for yourself. No, um, please go on. Um, I, I won't interrupt again. I, I dare say that there may be one. One, indeed. <sighs> and so these three little sisters, they were learning to draw, you know. Uh, what did they draw? Treacle. I want a clean cup. Let's all move one place on. But I don't understand. Where did they draw the treacle from? You can draw water out of a water well, so I should think you could draw treacle out of a treacle well, eh? Stupid. But they were in the well. Of course they were. Well in. They were learning to draw, and they drew all manner of things, everything that begins with an M. Why with an M? Why not? That begins with an M, such as mouse traps and the moon, and memory, and muchness. You know, you say things are much of a muchness. Did you ever see such a thing as a drawing of a muchness? Really, now you ask me, I, I don't think... Then you shouldn't talk. <coughs> At any rate, I'll never go there again. It's the stupidest tea party I ever was at in all my life.